Hello, welcome to the office of puzzle solving genius. Today is a day I have been dreading ever since I started doing solution videos to the puzzles that we've solved. The Vortex puzzle so far is the hardest puzzle we have done by a long shot. And I have had to spend the last four or five days or even longer actually, but four days within the last 10 days just practicing the solution, describe or trying to work out how I'm going to describe this best in a way that actually makes sense. And hopefully I'll figure out a good way of doing that. You can be the judge of that in the comments below. When we first solved this puzzle, it took us three days to get apart, which is the longest it's taken us to solve any of these puzzles by far. So without further ado, let's get into the solution. Let's get into, we're going to follow the solution with how you put it back together. I guess if you're following along and trying to solve this for yourself, you're not, you're probably not going to be in a position where it is like this. So you're going to need to figure out, or you've got the extra challenge of figuring out at what stage you are at and then following the solution from there. After you've seen the solution, I will show you how you can put it back together. Again, same thing applies. If you're halfway through putting it back together, you're going to have to figure out at what stage you are at. And then after I've showed you how to put it back together, we're going to have a little bit of fun. Oh, I say fun, but it's very serious world record setting, world record attempts. We're going to have a go at see how quick we can solve it. This is probably going to be the longest one so far. I think the longest one has been 30 something seconds. I anticipate that this is probably going to take longer, possibly even a couple of minutes, but we'll see how we fare with that. Firstly, let's get into the solution. Okay, so here it is, the dreaded Vortex puzzle. Now, before we get into actually solving it, I'm going to tell you how I'm going to be describing the puzzle as we're going along. So, first things first, it's made up of three bits. You've got the Vortex piece, the AY piece, and the Hanayama piece. And each piece I'm going to describe as having a big hook, these three things here, and a little hook in these three things here. So, Generally speaking, the first steps that we've got to follow are to get the little hooks of each of the parts free. So we don't want anything inside those little hooks. Now the first one we're going to get free is the vortex piece, which you can identify the vortex piece from this position because it's the only one with the big groove in the middle of its big hook. So, first move, we're going to lift the hooks, the big hooks of each piece. And then sometimes you can do this first part without, or straight away, without needing an adjustment on this piece here. Uh, but we'll see if that we do need that or not. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this groove on the, I think that's the Hanayama piece, it is. And we're gonna use that groove there to slide under the little hook of the vortex piece here. And we do that, okay. So what we need to do first is move the AY piece to this side of the big hook in the vortex piece. Then what we can do is move that groove into the right position and slide it under and out of the vortex little hook just there. Next, we're going to get the big hook of the vortex free using this groove in here and we're going to slide it out of the AY piece here by bringing the vortex piece down here using that groove in there and we're going to slide it out just like that. Okay. Next, what we're going to do is essentially thread this AY piece all the way through the little hook in the Hanayama piece. Now, there's going to be a few obstacles as we're doing it. So we start off and then the first obstacle is this uh, knobbly bit of the AY piece. Now, all we need to do for that is move the vortex piece down here and then we can turn the AY piece so that the knobbly bit comes straight through there. Okay. Then all we need to do is keep turning that AY piece and again we're up to another obstacle in this knobbly bit here. All we need to do again is turn it and bring it through there. Now at this point we've got the little hook of the AY piece free, we've got the little hook of the vortex piece free. Now all we need to do is get the little hook of the Hanayama piece free. So all we do for that is we're going to use this little groove on the AY piece and we're going to, now at this point as well you'll see that the vortex piece has managed to wangle its way into that little hook, that's very common, it uses that groove there, it's relatively straightforward to get it back out just like that. So once that's out of the way, all we need to do is turn that little groove 
in here to face the little, or to get underneath that little hook there, and we're free. So at this point, the only things keeping this puzzle together are that the big hooks are all interlocked. We've got all three little hooks free, which is good. Next, what we need to do is untangle each or untangle the fact that all the pieces are connected together. So what we need to do is we're going to take hold of the vortex piece here and we're going to get the other two pieces into a position where their big hooks are here. So they are overlapping and the knobbly bits of the big hooks are on this side of the vortex piece. Then what we're going to do is bring the AY piece essentially to slide under the Hanayama piece. Now to do that we need to be in the biggest part of the big hook on the vortex piece and all we're going to do when we're in the right position is get to here and then all we're going to do is slide that AY piece underneath the Hanayama piece like that and we end up with all three pieces now not being interlocked between themselves now it's like a chain and essentially at this point we've done we can hold on to the vortex piece and we can grab the Hanayama piece first lay that bit down that bit is now separated do the same again with the AY piece and that is how you solve the vortex puzzle and to reassemble the vortex we're just going to reverse the process that we used to take it apart so we're going to grab a hold of the vortex piece we're going to slide on the AY piece first and follow it by with the Hanayama piece. First step is to re-interlock all three parts. Now we do that by taking the big hook of the AY piece and sliding it underneath the big hook of the Hanayama piece. And that should click into place when the vortex is in the right place and just like that. And to lock that in place what we need to do is just make sure that it doesn't unhook itself by putting the Hanayama big hook through the big hook of the AY piece. That actually sets up the next move anyway because what we're going to use is this groove on the AY piece and we're going to use it to slide into the little hook of the Hanayama piece. Now we need to get the vortex piece out of the way and then all we're going to do is again use that groove to slide into the big hook, the little hook of the Hanayama piece. At this point we need to make sure that the vortex piece doesn't follow it in like this because we need the vortex piece to be outside of that little hook for the next part and the next part is to feed this entire part of the AY piece all the way through the little hook of the Hanayama piece which when the vortex piece is out of the way is relatively easy to do so we just feed it through there Carry on turning it around to make sure the vortex piece doesn't get in the way or lock itself in like it likes to do. Come on vortex piece, get out of my way. So we keep turning it, we keep pulling it through and then we get to this knobbly bit and again the vortex piece has to be in the right position for that to feed through which is there and then all it does is pass underneath there and it carries on feeding around. Then what we need to do is rehook the vortex piece and we do that with this groove on the big hook of the vortex piece and feeding it into the AY little hook here by first of all getting the Hanayama piece out of the way and then using that groove and snapping it into place there. Okay. Then we've just got one more move to do, however we need to make sure that this knobbly bit on the AY piece here is on this side of the vortex piece. So we just adjust that knobbly bit to there and then what we can do is use this groove of the Hanayama piece to slide into that groove there of, and that's the groove of the vortex piece and then we just fiddle around with it. And that is how you reassemble the Vortex puzzle. So there we go. That is how you solve, how you take apart, and how you put back together the dreaded, the impossible Vortex puzzle. Now, we're going to have a little bit of fun. We're going to see how quickly we can solve this. And yeah, this could be interesting. Of, of course, it's an official world record again. This will be my 
four, I think, world record. Let's see what we can do. There it is, about 46, 47 seconds it took us. I'm actually quite impressed with that. I remember I had a few goes at speed solving it over the last few days when I was trying to figure out how to explain it. And I think it took about four minutes. I think the best I did was two minutes something. So yeah, very, very happy with 40 odd seconds. If you think you can beat my time, please comment below with how fast you have done it. And thank you very much for being here. I hope the solution helped. I hope it was explained in a way that's easy to follow along to. If you want to see me struggle with the puzzle the first time I solved it, then click the button here. And if you want to see us solving a few of the other Hanayama puzzles, then click this button just here. And stick around. Subscribe. Please like the video. Subscribe by clicking this button just here. And I'll see you next time. Peace!